I was here last week and I tried to do this. <laughs> it's the trickiest thing. It looks so very easy when you see it done by the expert. But it's, it's very tricky. I, I, I'm tempted to, to see whether some of us, some of the Africans, can now come up and see what. If you can just try and key into that dance a little bit. Yeah, she's ready. Uh, she's ready. <laughs> she's ready. <laughs> she's ready. She's ready. She's ready. We need. Let's now see it. So you can appreciate yeah. the expertise. My smile. So can we have? Can we have some of you come on and make fun of yourself? No. Yes, please. The last one. But if you can just...
man. The dead man is from the eastern part of Nigeria. The dead man pretends it's a lady. It's really a masquerade that pays respect to womanhood. If you look very carefully at the mask, it looks like a woman. It's pretty. A dead man pays homage to womanhood. The important fact of being that for the people of that area, that without a woman, there will be no man. Without a woman, there will be no behaviorism, no good manners, no etiquette. So, womanhood there is a very, very, very big factor. Um, so, you have women chiefs, um, women who own land, women who control things. Uh, so that's the Adama. Um, the song we used to is from the south of uh, Nigeria, a song of Yorubas. So now in Nigeria you have the Igbo, you have the Yorubas, then you have the houses, which the houses, the culture spreads all through West Africa and beyond. As a matter of fact, Wherever you see anybody wear a car like this, there is an outer inch or a full inch anywhere in the world. That is taken all to Wagadugu, you know what that is? <laughs> anyway, it's very far from collecting. <laughs> <laughs> it's very, very far from collecting. <laughs> and talon. <laughs> talon, the word talon, always.
and I take the boy to the ship. And the mum says, don't be long, dinner is at five. And the kid says, yes, mum. And they pick up many other kids and the uncles and they say, come over, we've got some gifts for you. And they go to the ship. And they come to the ship. They say, where are the gifts? They say, in there. Where are the gifts? In there. Where are the gifts? Where are the lights? Where am I? Say, Shut up, with the ship. <laughs> and the ship sets sail and goes. But the point is this, when the slavery now took place from West Africa, was this slavery from South Africa? No. Who would say from South Africa? Yeah, it was. It was. It was. Yeah, it was. Oh yeah, hold on. But when this happened, that's now history. But you had, when these slaves got to a place, they would mix their culture with that place, have a new culture. They come here, the culture mixes. Not by talent, just that's the way things happen. Now the Caribbean. These two very beautiful ladies are from the Caribbean. Where is that where you from? Trinidad. Like the way they say, Trinidad. Sorry? Southern Island Caribbean, which is of Venezuela. Of Venezuela. So they have a they have a change there. So we have different sounds and music and dances and, and costumes just coming out. Just coming out from the world, everything kept changing from Cuba to, 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 to different parts of the world. Then we had the rumba, then we had the cha cha cha, then we had the walls, and all of them came together. Then we had the very popular in Wales, the salsa. So we have this new music coming out. So Ben is going to give us some, of, some music. Um, though right in North Africa you have things like Kwaito and Rumba and interesting music. So Ben will play some music. We'll listen to it before we dance to it. And see how, I'm sure you heard it before anyway. <laughs> 